Welcome to Positive Thinking TV. Love God with all your heart, with all your mind, and with all your soul. This is a commandment from God. Jesus Christ says in Matthew 22:37, "Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind." Though prior to this time, God had commanded in Deuteronomy 11:13, saying, "And it shall come to pass." If ye shall hearken diligently unto my commandments which I command you this day, to love the Lord your God, and to serve Him with all your heart and with all your soul. What does God really mean by this commandment? Seeing that man cannot even love himself enough, or even his fellow. Not to talk of loving God whom he cannot see. Especially in the presence of a plethora of intervening variables seeking man's love and attention. And to man in his fallen. has lost some vital forces that could have enabled him to act as demanded by God and yet has commanded that we love him with our total faculties the scriptures even confirm the fall of man in Romans 3:23 where the bible says for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God so with this scriptural confirmation of man's fall from the original standard How can he measure up to the divine demands and standards? The truth is that God knows that it will be impossible for a fallen man to attain this state without him. Speaking on man's limitations without God. The Lord has this to say in John 15:5. Yes, I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who remain in me and I in them will produce much fruit. For apart from me you can do nothing. Without God man won't be able to meet up with most of the requirements of God. But as we have seen over the times that God do give certain commands to prove and point out to man his limitations and helplessness without him and then comes to his rescue. God has done this over the times for man. For example, in salvation, God knows that man won't be able to keep the commandments He introduced salvation through faith. Galatians 2:16. Knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Jesus Christ, even we have believed in Jesus Christ, that we might be justified by the faith of Christ, and not by the works of the law, for by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. And in Romans 10:9-10, the Bible says, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead thou shalt be saved for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation this became necessary to God because left for a man without God's help it will be impossible for men to meet up men cannot even love themselves enough their fellow men that they see with a complete faculty not to talk of God that they do not see what God wants of us men is cooperation with him so he can shed his perfect love into our total being heart soul and spirit only then can we be able to love as demanded the scripture indicated this in 1 john 4 9-10 in this was manifested the love of god toward us because that god sent his only begotten son into the world that we might live through him herein is love not that we loved god but that he loved us and sent his son to be the propitiation for our sins by this scripture It implies that man has no such capacity of absolute love for God without God shedding his love in us. Until then, it will be nearly impossible to attain such a state of absolute love for God. Although well deserving by God. And secondly, God wants us to demonstrate our love for him to our fellow men. The scripture indicated thus in 1 John 4:7. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God. and every one that loveth is born of god and knoweth god based on these scriptures i believe that loving god with all our heart mind and soul is envisaged in the scriptures has to do with being empowered by him to attain his demands for love but we also know that god cannot ask us to do what he has not given us the capacity to do however in the working of god he does give us the ability for certain actions but does not expect us to achieve it with the strength of the flesh the act of loving god with all our heart mind 
and soul is among the aspects of God's demands that he doesn't intend that we achieve with the strength of the flesh this is because as we are still in this world there will continue to be many things contending for our affection or love which inevitably will make it difficult for us to concentrate the whole and totality of our love to god without his enablement for instance god gave the israelite 10 commandments but knowing that they won't be able to keep it he provided faith in the lord jesus christ as a means of attaining his demands john 1:17 for the law was given by moses but grace and truth came by jesus christ god although the giver of the law is also aware that man is incapable of keeping the law he provided faith in christ as a means of attaining his requirement romans 10:9 to 10 that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the lord jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that god hath raised him from the dead thou shalt be saved for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation in the preceding god had shown man his helplessness without him made a way of escape for him through faith in jesus christ titus 3:5 not by works of righteousness which we have done but according to his mercy he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the holy ghost loving god with all our heart mind and soul could be a herculean task without the help of god because a natural man is egocentric unloving and materialistic which the scriptures have this to say romans 3:23 to 25 for all have sinned and come short of the glory of god being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in christ jesus whom god hath set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are past through the forbearance of god god has always been a specialist in making the seemingly impossible possible mark 10:27 and jesus looking upon them saith with man it is impossible but not with god for with god all things are possible thus loving god holy is a possibility but not without the help of god just like other difficult demands it is god who accomplishes his demands from us through us jesus made this clear in john 15:5 am the vine ye are the branches he that abideth in me and i in him the same bringeth forth much fruit for without me ye can do nothing having said that what exactly does it mean to love god with all your heart I think since the heart is the seat of all emotions God wants us to worship him with our emotions of love, joyfulness, appreciation, gratitude, etc. Still, beyond that, it also encompasses our conscience, will, mind, memory, intellect, thought intelligence, etc. To love God with all your heart means using all our emotional acts of the heart to search for and serve God. It also includes our relationship with his images and likeness which is our fellow men. It includes not only emotions but a demonstration of love for him and one another. As we see in John 3:16 how God demonstrated his love for the world by giving. John 3:16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Loving God includes giving out also the things that our heart values much and other sacrificial services as shown by Christ himself in John 15:13. He says, "Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends." That is practical love. Loving God with all your mind, on loving God with all our minds, our mind is the center of imagination, consideration, reasoning, creative thinking and perception. I think what God means by loving him with all our minds has to do with not giving undue attention or consideration to the neglect or detriment of the things that have to do with God. For instance in Romans 8:6 the Bible says, "For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace." And in 1 John 2:15 to 17, "Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world." If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, 
the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. From the last verse. It can be understood that God wants us to choose eternal. Then temporary or worldly things. Whenever such an opportunity presents itself. To love God with all our minds. The mind is the center of focus. Creative thinking, and imagination. It, therefore, means that we should focus on God. More than we focus on other lovable objects. Never get the complete obsession with anything to the excursion of God. In Matthew 6:33, the Bible admonishes. But seek ye first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Loving God with all our minds. Also includes conscientious consideration of Christ's acts of love. Done to mankind by his, Jesus, sacrificial death. This can afford us a better understanding of the reasons to reciprocate the love. Loving God with all your soul. Our soul comprises our mind and a more significant part of our heart. But more importantly, the soul is the faculty of expression. It is the visible expression of our love, gratitude, appreciation, etc. to God. It, therefore, means that God requires us to express our love for Him. This can be seen in the way we give Him worship, praises, thanksgiving, and testimony of what He has done and or is doing for us. In conclusion, however, there is no better way to attain this requirement than through studying the Word of God the Bible, meditating on the Word, and praying always. We appreciate you watching this video till the end. Consider subscribing so that you do not miss out on other exciting videos that we post every Wednesday and Saturday. Click on any of the videos you will see on the screen carefully handpicked for you to enjoy at the end of this video. We hope you like and drive value from this video. We love you.